Hello everyone and thank you for viewing this video. The topic on this video will be how to import data using the import data wizard within CDD Vault. In an earlier video, we described a simple data set, which I will showcase, show you briefly here. Again, this is a CSV file. We also can read in SDF files. But here in this CSV file, we have the structure, sample ID, person, vendor, and date, as the different fields we'll read in. Once you log into CDD Vault, the operation is to start with the Import Data tab and choose a file. And again, this is my data file here on my hard drive. Read it into whatever project you'd like. I just have a simple project name called Screening ABC. Once you hit Upload, you'll view this very simple but powerful wizard that has already interrogated the file and given you a series of steps you can take to ensure that the fields in your input file map to the fields within CDD Vault. We're going to go through each of these different import operations in other videos, including the default about reading in biological data or the protocol data, update existing molecules, but here today we're going to register new molecules and batches. These do contain structures, uh, as shown in that in the smile string column, but you can also uh, import in without structures. So by selecting the register new molecules operation, you'll see that the uh, system was intelligent enough. It does a nice job of picking fields that make sense. Uh, it still certainly requires human intervention to review it and make sure it's mapping as you would like. Uh, so the good news is, is that the smile string was read in properly as the molecule field structure. And I can click apply. Note that that column is now in green, indicating, yep, we've got it mapped. The sample ID column that I alluded to before, so they gave us a best guess of a molecule name or synonym. So actually, there's a different batch field I want to use for this. And it's underneath the batch fields pull down menu, and there's an option called My Sample ID. So once I select that and hit apply, you see that the green is now highlighted. Sample ID maps to My Sample ID. Here's the uh, person mapping to person and clicking apply there. Vendor mapping to vendor and the date mapping to date. Before I move away from this screen, I wanted to bring up one important operation right here. Save this mapping as a template. If you're going to have the same file format being read in time and time again, I highly recommend you go ahead and say save this mapping as a template that you can read in and in just a couple of clicks you will not have to go through the wizard as I have done here for this uh, simple five column input file. Save you a lot of time down the road. Once we have mapped everything as we'd like, clicking process file, the big green button, you'll go to a ne the next screen which is a review screen. You'll, you'll see that it's going through each of those different, it'll go into a queuing status. If it's a large file, it'll even give you an op option to allow you to email yourself uh, when the upload is complete or the import is complete. This is such a small file, it only had 190 records, it happened just in a few seconds. If you, as you review the, the QA of the import, you'll please note from this screen, that this is the uh, ability to review what's happening. It gives you a chance to accept and reject different operations. Here on this simple input file, I had some noteworthy events. So these are ones that you might want to take note of, but not necessarily errors or issues that you need to re resolve. In this particular input file, there was 158 new molecules. And of those 158 new molecules, 32 were in fact duplicated. So we won't have 190 new molecules. We'll only have 158 new molecules 32 of those will have more than one batch. And certainly you can accept and reject that depending on your needs. Here, we know that everything is mapping as we'd like, and I can go ahead and commit the data import. Again, after a few seconds, uh, the file will uh, be going from the queued status to committing status. And once that operation is complete, uh, you can view the imported data by clicking on the link explore imported data. And here you go to a simple report that shows you, all right, great. We have 158 new structures. We have certain molecules 
that contain multiple batches, as I alluded to before, batch one and batch two. Here's the sample IDs that we read in, and of course the dates, vendors in person. Thank you for viewing this video.